Hey everyone, this is Alex USA Days. So we are in the last module, interview preparation. A great job, uh, we covered a lot. So there was a lot of things that we learned. Now it's time to get ready to go to actual interviews and get a QA position. Now I want to note that it is very important to have hands-on QA experience before attending job interviews. If possible, try to get involved in at least a couple of freelance projects that I mentioned earlier to strengthen your practical skills and resume. This experience will not only make you more attractive to potential employers, but also give you confidence in your abilities. Preparing for QA interview involves understanding both the technical skills and the soft skills required for the role. Here are some steps you can take to prepare effectively. First, uh, you should learn about the company, their mission and product prior to interview. Second, have some examples of bugs that you filed, including most difficult bugs, readily available. Third, automation versus manual testing. Be ready to answer when to use each one and why. Number four, work on your soft skills. People should enjoy working with you, so communication, Teamwork, collaboration have to be very important to you. Number five, be ready to talk about things mentioned in your resume. Number six, when asked on why you're looking for a new position, talk about searching for new opportunities. Don't complain about previous job, position, your boss, etc. Note that interview experience is a crucial component of your interview preparation journey. It's common to attend many interviews before receiving a job offer. Use each interview as a learning opportunity. If you encounter questions that you're unsure of, make a note of them afterwards. This will help you to prepare for future interviews where similar queries may arise. So going through interviews is part of getting a job. You'll have to go through many interviews before you actually land uh, an offer from a company and while you do that always take notes of questions that you were not sure of okay also uh, remember the average job hunt in a good qa market may spend approximately from two to four months so stay persistent and don't lose heart if the process seems lengthy continue to engage in multiple interviews this perseverance is often what leads to finding the right job fit to aid in your preparation, I will provide a resource with 50 interview questions and answers. Reviewing this will help you become acquainted with the types of questions that typically arise in QA interviews, enhancing your readiness for what lies ahead. Okay, so let's cover first eight interviews, uh, questions that I'll provide. There will be 50, so you'll have the whole list attached with this video. Look it in the files available with this video. Let's grab the first eight. So the first one that is most commonly asked is tell me about yourself. Normally you want to say that I'm passionate about quality assurance, that I am eager to explore new opportunities in the field. I've worked as a Q engineer both part-time and full-time, and I'm dedicated to continuous learning and improvement. So it is a, a generic question to kind of get conversation going. You want to give a generic answers that kind of explain why you want to be in QA. So overall positive, uh, picture of yourself being Q engineer. Uh, the second question that is quite often asked is why are you looking for a new opportunity? Uh, so you can say that my current role lacks growth opportunities or and my QA contract is ending without an extension. I'm actively seeking a company where I can continue to enhance my skills and contribute to quality software uh, development. Now that question is also to kind of see how adequate you are. Why are you looking for a new job? Did something happen at the previous job? Maybe there was a conflict or, you know, maybe there's something pushing you to get a new job. Again, this is a generic question that you want to give a generic answer, meaning that, okay, I'm looking for new opportunities. I'm interested in growing as a QA engineer and my current job is lacking that or maybe your contract is ended and they're not extending it. So either of those is fine. Question number three might be, why our company? 
uh, you want to say that I have a genuine interest in your products and have thoroughly researched your company's mission and culture on your web page. It aligns with my values and I believe I can make meaningful contribution here. So you want to say that, you know, I really like what you guys do and I want to do it with you, right? Number four, uh, this one is quite commonly asked, where do you see yourself in five years? This is also a generic question that wants a generic response. Uh, in five years, I envision myself as a senior QA engineer with an expanded skill set. I am committed to continuous growth in the QA field and contributing to the success of the company. So you want to answer along the lines uh, of what the job expects you to do. Uh, don't tell them that in five years you see yourself as a manager if that's not a manager's position or if you see yourself in five years as a developer or going in some completely different field. No, just, you know, keep on doing QA in five years, you know, become more senior but still doing my thing as a QA engineer. Uh, number five, tell me about your debugging process. My debugging process involves identifying the issue, isolating the problem, and providing detailed information to the development team to reproduce the problem. So you want to be uh, you want to be showing that you're aware how you debug something, and you have skills, you know, that you can do it, and you want to be able to provide all the required uh, steps needed to show what, what what went wrong to the developers. Uh, number six, why choose QA and what do you love about it? So you can say, I transitioned into full-time QA work after enjoying it as a part-time freelancer. What I love about QA is the analytical and problem-solving aspects. It's like solving puzzles to ensure product quality. I also like making an impact and improving uh, product quality. So why QA? Because I like QA. Um, number seven, tell me about positive-negative testing. Positive testing checks if a system performs as expected under normal conditions, uh, kind of a happy path, right? While negative testing examines how the system handles unexpected or invalid inputs or conditions. For example, a positive test case would be creating an account with expected password complexity, and negative test case would be creating an account with a password that does not match minimum character length. And number eight, tell me about end-to-end -end testing. End-to-end -end testing evaluates the entire system or application by focusing on user scenarios to ensure all integrated components work together seamlessly. For example, buying products on Amazon, that would include login, product search, adding it to the cart, successful checkout, and order confirmation. So this uh, document will have 50 questions for you to go read and uh, prepare yourself for the interview those are the most common things that are normally asked during career interview just spend some time with it um, if you have to type it out or write it down do that that will definitely help you in preparation for the interview now if you're an interview you've been asked something you're not sure about it's okay to say that I'm, i don't know i have to you know, uh, take a look into it, uh, but make sure you know that question and write it down so you can prepare for it next time you go into the interview. Now, the last thing is when you're going for a job position is getting your resume ready. One of the things that I found out is very helpful. Uh, first things first, get your LinkedIn going. So have an image of you, uh, fill it all out. So go ahead, create a LinkedIn profile and fill it all out if you don't have one already. Make sure in your LinkedIn, uh, you have a concise about me uh, with the skills and what you've been doing. Uh, make sure that you list your experiences and what kind of work you've been doing in each one of those jobs, what were your responsibilities and so on. Uh, even if your start was a freelance as a U-test, what kind of tools you were using, uh, what you've been testing, not specifically without mentioning the exact product names, but, but what kind of uh, product that is you've been testing, right? Uh, make sure to add your education, licenses if you have any, your skills, and so on. So once you filled out your LinkedIn, uh, then you can go ahead and just create uh, a resume. So you can build a resume based on that LinkedIn. Uh, 
and then will you do that i mean it's going to look pretty nice so you can see mine is updated i uh updated recently it's going to look something like that where you have all the information available uh on here on your resume and just try to keep it to like two pages don't don't have it too long and then you can save this as pdf and that's going to be your uh resume that you can go with to the interviews share with the recruiters um yeah okay so thanks everyone i uh wish you all the best get the qa job you want uh and talk to you later bye